didn't start to the parents which ended up being a Chicago. As you can see, my worm bins. This is a very long process. He goes out. I have three of these. I was using gloves um, earlier. There's a lot of eggs. Uh, they're coming out. I'm going to have to sift this again to try to get the eggs out. Um, I have a bright light. As bright as, you know, movable light. It's best I could do. I don't have a shop light. So, yeah, this is a very long process. Um, I've had to deal with fruit flies. Um, there are also little spiders. See the eggs? I don't know if you can see the egg. See the egg right there? Yeah. So I'll have to go through this container right here is what I um, harvested already. Um, and I'm going through this one bin, you know, um, that bin is full, that bin is full, as you can see. Um, if I move back, the, it's all that good stuff in there. See the worms in there? I think you can see the worms in there. They're hiding. Yeah. Try to hold this iPad steady. They're running. But they're alive. Um, I give them coffee grounds, uh, shredded paper, obviously. Uh, I put the filters usually on top to try to deter. Um, somebody recommended hair, um, toilet paper rolls, and lots and lots of shredded paper. Same over here. Um, I was trying to use this to get the uh, the worms out, but they were getting caught um, on the mesh, and you know that would have taken absolutely forever. Here again, you can see the worms, nice and black. Yep. So it's going to take me. Of course, that's a corn cob that sprouted. I think that's a corn cob that sprouted. And um, I think this one has, you can see them. You can see the tomatoes uh, that sprouted. This one here has most of the contents of this so that I could try to manage it. So I'll have to go through this. And then once I get that, um, I will probably go through this. It, it's taking an absolute long time. Um, some people have these uh, these round cylindrical five gallon buckets with the mesh attached to it. Um, that's fancy. I'm usually worried most of the time. I'm usually worried about the worms getting crunched. Um, when I tried that mesh, um, I've even tried the cat scooper, even though I don't have a cat anymore. Um, I've tried this, um, and they fell right through. I've tried this, and they were getting caught. It looked like they were getting their brains beat out, um, <laughs> every time I shook it. So I started to, um, decide to... Hand pull instead. So, I basically, I just lightly grab whatever's on the top. Um, kind of feel with my fingers and lightly drizzle it into this container. Pick out the big pieces. Um, and then I may, once the 
uh, the worms are out. Um, once the worms are out of this, if I'm left with nothing but castings, worm castings and eggs, I may then use that um, to sift. So, you know, um, somebody had said earlier, you know, it's really hard on your back when you're doing this. Yeah, hard on the back, hard on the knees, um, and takes a long time. Yeah, but you know, you do what you got to do. Any which way, or, you know, any which way. So, um, you do what you got to do. Yeah. I've been doing this for a couple months now. Um, this is my first time actually um, harvesting the castings. Um, so, I'm hoping that I'm doing it right. I looked up a lot of the videos online on how people were doing it. They were using a tarp. Unfortunately, there's a worm in there. Unfortunately, um, I don't have a tarp. I had a tarp. I put it outside. I put. I got some dirt delivered. Uh, the dirt got put on top of the tarp. And it's funny because, you know, I had this mushroom topsoil delivered for the garden for my raised beds. And I didn't use all of it. So, right now I have it outside with this with this leftover pile of topsoil on it and when I went to go you know shovel or check on the tarp the tarp literally fell apart in my hands um, sitting underneath that soil all uh, that topsoil all summer so I don't know what I'm gonna do now um, if I try to shovel it the shovels probably going to tear up the um, tear up the uh, tarp even further. So I'll have little pieces of tarp all over the driveway. But um, I'll figure that out, I guess. You know, it's good dirt. Um, well, ugh, it's mushroom topsoil. I had it delivered here in Beverly um, from this local place in Edgewater Park. Um, they delivered it right away. I wouldn't say it was, you know, overly expensive. Um, they dropped it right on the tarp, which was cool. They pulled right into the driveway and, um, I think it's called Edgewater, um, sand and landscaping, something like that. You should look that place up. They have a lot of stuff out there, sand, soil, um, you know, the usual places that let you come in and, and get out your own. This is getting kind of full, so I might have to use this or sift this now because I don't plan on using any other containers for the castings other than uh, this salad uh, container right here so it looks like it looks pretty full I don't know if I'm gonna overfill it uh, overfill it because I have so much more um, I have so much more to do uh, let's see let's see if we can uh, toss this up a little bit more I'm getting there though I just took my time, you know. There's some coconut coir in there. Um, that's my go-to. I love cocoa coir. Um, everybody should use it. It's absolutely fabulous stuff. Um, and then eventually, I guess that one's full. Very heavy. Um, that one's full. <laughs> that one's very heavy. It's taking me absolutely forever. That's my compost tea. I put a couple handfuls of that in there. Um, yeah, and the fruit flies seem to absolutely love it. You know, doing whatever they do in it. Um, and then I'll have to do that one. So it's going to take a little while. And then I'll I'll show you. I'll show you really quickly. Uh, since I'm thinking about it, I'll show you really quickly at the yard. Um, so I'm going to do the permaculture. And uh, there's my baby right there. Uh, that's the van I sleep in. Um, of course, I have this house now, but you rest assured, I have my mattress there in the back. Um, I have my camp potty. I have my, uh, you know, my camping equipment, my tent, my sleeping bag. I have all of that. Um, just ready to go when I want to go. Um, I don't know if 
if I want to stay in this house. I love this house. And if it was a choice between, now those are the apple trees that I just planted um, this couple months ago, actually. So you need two of them in order to get apples. So I planted this one and that one. Um, show you, get a little closer. This one here is a, uh, this one uh, here is a Red Delicious Dwarf. Got this from Grower Solution. Um, and this one here is a, oh, look at my baby. Uh, they're both midgets. I call them midgets. Oh, I don't see the tag. Uh-oh. So, oh, there it is, underneath the, the mulch. I was gonna say, uh-oh, gala. So I got a red delicious and I got a gala and this one is doing so much better than um, this one is actually doing so much better than this one because it's you know the house shades comes the Sun comes from you know here and goes up and around and comes back down on this side of the house. I mean, that's a lot of bright light. You might not be able to see anything. So this one is getting more sunlight than this one. And you could tell that, you know, it's affecting new growth. Um, I've treated them just about the same. I don't know any difference between, you know, Red Delicious and, and the Gala, but I'm hoping I don't lose this one. Um, as you can see, it's got, you know, Something's been eating on it. Dried, crusty, curled, you know, leaves. Um, I was giving it some name. Um, diluted urine, I even did that. And um, not that I'm an advocate for um, um, miracle Grow, but I, I was giving it miracle Grow and everything else. So they were getting the same amount of stuff. So this is the... Um, this is the pile of mushroom topsoil that I had delivered. It's, it's, yep, it's topsoil. It's absolutely dry. Well, it's not dry. What do I want to call it? Um, it's definitely not loamy. Um, could be sandy on the little sandy and clayish side. Um, it needs a lot of work. But it's got these chunks of, um, I don't even know what to say. It's got these chunks of like, you know, good stuff mixed in with the bad stuff. It's like absolutely weird. But anyway, um, yeah. So the tarp, the only tarp that I had is, is, is shredding, shredding underneath. It's falling apart. It's absolutely falling apart. I had this covered with plastic. The plastic blew all over the yard. I still have like a lot of this dirt to shovel. There's my shed. And there were some wasps that like <laughs> decided they wanted to live in my shed. So, yeah. All right, I'm in the shade. Here's my yard. Here's this new house that I got. Um, these are the raised beds that I, I put up immediately. I got this, this house uh, last March. So in March, it'll be a year. 